Now look, you know, I can appreciate a special effects extravaganza stuffed with damsels in distress, guys running around in loincloths, human sacrifices, and giant creatures like anyone else. But Roland Emmerich's new prehistoric drama, 10,000 BC, becomes so ludicrous, so ridiculous, that it careens from your basic bland badness into cheesy wackiness. The movie stars New York actor Steve Strait as a young warrior named Delay. Now, that's not Delay like in procrastination, but Delay like D apostrophe L E H. Why? Because he's special. He has his favorite girl. Her name is Evelette, and she's played by Camilla Bell. Now, they belong to a rather strange ancient prehistoric tribe of people who seem to come from different ethnic groups. Plus, they all speak with different accents. In fact, I think the only thing they have in common is an excellent dental plan because they have great teeth for prehistoric people. Anyway, the movie slams into action mode when a group of marauders decides to kidnap Evelette and a lot of her friends and force them to go work on a giant pyramid being built by a mysterious unseen entity, a fellow going by the name of the Almighty. Delay and his warriors seem to cross about, oh, I'd say five or six climate zones in their attempts to rescue Evelette, and they wind up encountering all kinds of dangers that they risk their lives to save their fellow tribesmen. Well, CGI sequences with, with absolute flair and excitement. But when it comes to directing the human parts of his story, he has no idea what to do. 10,000 B.C. feels very familiar, and that's prob probably because it's been cobbled together with pasted pieces from other better films, like Quest for Fire, Apocalypto, Helen of Troy, even the most recent film, 300. The sheer lunacy of 10,000 B.C., I mean the scope of its ridiculous awfulness, makes it akin to watching a head-on collision of two charging locomotives, or in this case, should we say, woolly mammoths. For the Daily Herald on the web, dailyherald.com, I'm Dan Geyer.